Hello and welcome back to Dr. Doctor. Today we talk about cholera. Cholera is an infection which causes sudden violent diarrhea. If untreated, it can kill within hours of onset. There are as many as 4 million cases worldwide each year, and of these, around 150,000 people die. During the 19th century, cholera spread from its original reservoir in the Ganges Delta in India. Six subsequent pandemics have killed millions across each continent. Cholera is now endemic in many countries and remains a global threat to public health. A current outbreak in Yemen has affected almost a million people, the majority of which are children. And unfortunately, outbreaks such as this are due to humanitarian crises, which often result in disruption in water and sanitation systems. Good infrastructure and clean water is the long-term solution to control cholera. Vibrio cholera is the causative bacteria and is spread via the fecal oral route. Thus, ingestion of water or food, which has been contaminated with the bacteria, causes cholera. In developing countries, poor sanitation leads to drinking water becoming infected. In developed countries, the consumption of seafood, which have been in waters with infected sewage, is the more common means of transmission. Once the bacteria has passed from our stomach into our small intestine, the toxins it produces essentially leads to massive quantities of water passing from our cells into our feces, and hence the main symptom of watery diarrhea. It takes between 12 hours and 5 days from consumption of the bacteria to the development of symptoms. The majority of those infected will show no symptoms. However, their feces may still be infected for up to 10 days after infection, and thus this may still spread to other people. For those who do develop symptoms, these can range from mild symptoms to the sudden onset of severe symptoms, which leads to dehydration and death. Cholera is easily treated if recognized early and death is preventable. Prompt administration of oral rehydration solution is key. Adults may need up to six liters in the first day to combat dehydration. If severe, intravenous fluids may be needed in order to combat the risk of hypovolemic shock. Similarly, in severe cases, antibiotics are administered in order to diminish the duration of diarrhea. Mass administration of antibiotics is not recommended as it has no proven effect in reducing the spread of cholera. As with most diseases, prevention is better than cure. Clean water, effective sanitation and good hygiene are all key. Almost 2 billion people worldwide drink water from sources contaminated with feces, and even more are without effective sanitation facilities. Therefore, the long-term solution lies in the economic development and funding of the less developed countries. The Global Task Force on Cholera Control has committed to a target of a 90% reduction in deaths worldwide by 2030. And this is based on three strategies. Early detection and quick response to outbreaks, improved sanitation, hygiene, and oral vaccinations in endemic hotspots, and the development of a strong framework to support countries in their efforts to control cholera. You can check the link in the description box to see their website and more information on this. In summary, cholera is an illness that sickens and kills the poorest and most vulnerable populations on earth. It is preventable, curable, and should not cause death. However, many, many thousands die each year 
from this infection, and outbreaks are still happening, such as in Yemen. Educating ourselves is an important first step in combating such disease. So please do share this video and help spread the message. There are many charities that help combat cholera and I'll leave some details in the description for anyone that is interested. Please remember to subscribe if you found this interesting or helpful and stay tuned for future content.